guys, someone asked me to make a video about the basics of owning an owl because she has to give a presentation about the benefits of owning an owl. So I thought I would talk about the basic material you need to own an owl. This does not mean that if you have all of these things that you are ready to keep an owl. Um, you need to know a lot of things before you are able to keep an owl as a pet. So, um, I just wanted to make that clear. Okay, here we go. First, I'll talk about the things that are attached to my owl because a lot of people think that they can just keep their owl loose in the house and that is just not true. You also can't keep it loose outside because your owl will fly away someday and never come back and if they are bred, um, they can survive in the wild. So. You need to be able to handle your owl. So, as you can see, Luki has got these leather shoes on each leg. So this is the leather shoe and they are called anklets. The anklets are attached to the leg with these metal rings which are called grommets. Then through each grommet we have a leather jess. So there are this, these are two jesses and the jesses are attached to a swivel, uh, which is this uh, little metal thing. Then the swivel is attached to a long lace, which is this green cord, and the green cord, the long lace, is attached to Luki's perch. This is a bow perch, um, which is where your owl is going to sit on. You can also buy a regular flat perch with astroturf on it, which is just as good. But this is a bow perch which has a rubber thing on it to keep uh, the owl's feet protected. So that's everything that is attached to my owl. So you're also going to need a perch if you're not putting your owl in an aviary. Then this thing right here is a regular plant scale. And you're going to use that to put the perch on the scale and then you're gonna fill this scale with biological cat litter filling and I'll show you what that is. This is one bag that I have with uh, cat litter that is 100% biological and I have another bag right here which is also 100% biological cat litter. So you are going to fill your plant scale with this biological cat litter or cat litter filling I don't know how to say it in English correctly. <laughs> um, and you need this um, on your plant scale that is going to be put underneath the perch because you cannot potty train an owl. Uh, so if you don't want your floor to be filthy all of the time, then I recommend you do this. So I'll just show you how I do that. Now what you're also going to need is a glove to take your owl on walks and to fly your owl. Uh, this is not the glove that I normally use. <laughs> uh, my normal glove doesn't have this thingy attached to the pointing finger. <laughs> uh, but my normal glove is still laying in the car and my boyfriend um, has taken the car to do some stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I just took this glove. This glove is for left-handed people, by the way, so you do have gloves for right-handed and left-handed people. And then something you're also going to need is food for your owl. And barn owls eat one-day-old chicks. This is a one-day-old chick that is still frozen. Um, it is in a very weird position. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I hope this isn't too graphic, but this is what barn owls eat. 
They also eat mice and rats, baby mice, baby rats, but most of the time you're gonna give them one day old chicks. And the mice and the rats you're just gonna give them to gain strength during the winter. You're also gonna need a flying stick which is called a tea perch because you're gonna fly your owl every day because owls do need exercise just like cats and dogs do. At the end of this video I'll show you some images of me and Luki flying with the tea perch. But first I just quickly wanted to talk to you guys about the benefits of owning an owl. The first benefit for me was that Luki taught me how to appreciate every season here in Belgium. Most people here in Belgium tend to think that in autumn and winter you shouldn't even bother to go outside. You should only go outside when you absolutely have to to go to your job for example or if you have obligations um, because we tend to think that autumn and winter is just too cold and too depressing and Luki taught me that actually that isn't true um, when I just had her I had to socialize her so that she would become a social owl that wasn't afraid of traffic etc so I took her for walks every day for about two hours but I was working full-time back then so sometimes I had an early shift sometimes I had a late night shift and I also had a social life so sometimes I had to get up at 6 a.m. to still be able to go for a walk with Luki and I came to see that autumn isn't depressing at all. It's actually extremely colorful uh, because of all the leaves that are turning yellow, orange, red. Um, and I came to see that winter isn't depressing either. Um, I came to see that when the trees are bold, that isn't boring or ugly or depressing. It's actually a really nice opportunity to see the birds better. Um, I started noticing that really early in the morning there are a lot of birds sitting in the trees and because the trees are bold in winter you can see them better and I came to realize that even here in Belgium we have a lot of beautiful birds with beautiful colors so that's something Luki taught me and I'm really grateful for that and then a second uh, benefit of owning an owl is that owning an owl is really cheap. For a box of 10 kilograms of one day old chicks I only pay 12 euros and this box lasts me for about three months. So dog food is way more expensive. So yeah that's also a benefit. Um, once you have all of the material um, like the anklets and the leather chesses they will last you for a long time so owning an owl isn't expensive. That does not mean that you should go to a breeder right now and get yourself an owl because <laughs> you need to have a lot of knowledge to be able to keep one. But yeah, that for me are two benefits of owning an owl. So now I'll just show you the images of me and Luki training together and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit awkward and I'm sorry for my bad English. I have been so busy lately that I, I haven't had the time to prepare this video so it's just a really spontaneous video. I apologize. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Snel mooi, ja.